coal mining in Scotland was a major industry and all across South Lanarkshire and other parts of Scotland there are coal mines that have obviously uh, been abandoned and no longer operate um, and a lot of them lie there for many years with nobody bothering with them but this has been important because it's actually a regeneration of an area that has been left defunct for many years and the local community welcome that but I think to see it being developed and brought back to nature as well as having the wind farm is really important for the local community. The project really was developed over the last two years and what you see today is really a result of fantastic teamwork through civil contractors, turbine suppliers coming together and designing the site that is right and makes sense for this, these ground conditions. I would say ground conditions are really the biggest challenge on these sites. You're looking at a site that was formerly an open cast coal mine which is has been backfilled and remediated and over the period of time you need to make sure that the ground has settled the way you expect it to but also that you've really designed the foundation basis in the way that will stand the test of these huge 150 meter turbines through the test of time keeping them in place operating year on year so yeah i suppose the ground conditions is probably one of the biggest challenges on the site do you feel that this kind of uh, projects like coal mines or old gas power stations can be uh, regenerated or can be uh, transformed into renewable energy projects totally i mean you can see a number of large brownfield sites especially former coal sites or power stations throughout the country not just in scotland where You've got the perfect infrastructure there for grid access and where it lends and it's suitable to you can try and develop wind farms in those areas but quite often you may look at developing solar sites in those areas because they tend to be closer to communities, uh, dwellings, where, which is not necessarily the perfect place for wind farms but in the case of open cast coal mines they're generally in slightly more or less populated areas like we see today and represent a really good opportunity to turn what was a former open cast brownfield site into a green renewable generation project which will last for the next 30, 35 years.